Hello everyone, it's Vedar Boy and we're back in Hot Fighter 4. Now, the newest DLC, Man the Guns, is uh, already out, but until I get it, it'll take me like a week, and to relearn the game after the updates, it'll take me a month. So, meanwhile, I wanted to play as Romania. Now, why would I play as a nation that got updated uh, two DLCs ago? Uh, it's because I really love playing as Romania. Adunara. It's the best, in my opinion, in the... Uh, not the entire game, but in the Death or Dishonor DLC. While the... Uh, Waking the Tiger DLC was uh, good, I didn't really enjoy it. Uh, it was good, but I didn't really enjoy it, as I said. Uh, for some reasons, mainly fighting in China. So, I want to play something that is... Uh, uh, a bit uh, challenging. If you know what I mean. Because... Romania... Then, no. Adunara. Uh, fill the sky. Ordonat. One... Peace you guys. Just being assigned. Ordonati. All of them go to the border with Hungary. Okay, so playing as, as Romania is a bit challenging. Ordonati. But it's uh, fun. So, just first of all, we're going to prepare our armies, and now I'm going to explain the strategy. So, in Death or Dishonor, when the DLC came out, a new Focus 3 for Romania, uh, Hungary, Yugoslavia, Czechoslovakia popped out. The most favorite one for me uh, is Hungary. They can go and preserve Greater uh, Romania, go with the historical path, and uh, work with Germany during the Axis, uh, whatever. Or you can go for Balkan Dominance. And it's actually pretty interesting. I was go Balkan dominance, and some here are some political foxes. We are going, of course, to institute royal the dictatorship to get the king, Carol II, and Carol II really likes to party. He party he parties hard every day, and that isn't something you'd like. So we start off with the three uh, research slots. Go production, construction, and uh, engineering, electronic engineering. The basic three. Uh, now for building, I'm not going to build any factories. I'll get those two foxes, but I need to build something pretty much very important. It's uh, forts. Forts. In Bessarabia, we do need them. I call this the first defense plan. Mm. I should probably, yes, also build one here in Bokovonia. Ordonat! No, he is. This one, okay. La Comanda. Now we train these guys. Gata de we train these guys. Then we go to the military factories. Okay, so we have a decent army, uh, bigger than Hungary's. I think it's, uh, I, of course, it's bigger than Hungary and Bulgaria. Uh, but uh, of course we have Poland, Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia and the Soviet Union. We have a lot of uh, neighbors that could potentially be enemies. So what I need to think, what I really want to focus on is rifles. Um, 
Now I do have seven sectors to be used. I oh, 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 come on, laptop, do not start acting up. Oh, okay. You see, that's the first uh, kind of uh, event you get from King Carol's Two lifestyle. His mistress purchases purchases a villa. The government have purchased uh, have purchased it. Now, if you need political power, you go for this. But uh, I currently now really need the factory, so the king took the money out of an advance on his allowance. I do not need political power. Not right now. Not that very early on. No. Now. In order to play as Romania, we need to be uh, very specific. Because uh, we will start off very slow. Okay, I'm not going to continue with this. I'm just going to just finish up the submarine. Um, I'm into this. And wait, I'm not going to chain any divisions, nothing at all. Going to this is the air force. Okay. Now, okay, we we have our first fort. That's good. That's good. And we have nine factories being used. That's incredible. And the thing about forts, they are easy to make, and just by fortifying the borders, we'll uh, finish them even faster. Now the Soviet Union by 1939 will ask us to see it, uh, Bessarabia, and of course, I will not accept that, and they will attack us. But by that time, if we, if I play it correctly, we'll have a defense line of uh, level seven forts. Then I'll uh, instantly build level five forts around here. I would have taken over the Balkans, uh, Hungary, Yugoslavia, Greece, and puppeted Bulgaria, probably puppeted Slovakia, if everything goes according to plan. And um, if all the calculations are right, we will be reaching the Urals in, 19, in December 1941, hopefully. I already did a test run, and uh, I, it, it was good. So, as I said, the beginning is very slow, but by mid by late 1937 to mid-1938, we'll start going on our feet, and from, from mid-1938, Till 1939, we'll be we'll, we'll do whatever it takes just to mop up the Balkans. Adunara. Now these guys can get some traits. Um, I always want some organization. He's also charismatic. Yeah, why not? Let's give him traits here there. Okay, for him I want the... Okay, that's that. Now we go for fortify the borders. Revise the constitution, then Balkans dominance. And we go down the economical part of the fox tree. Of course we go down for the Malaxa. Reach, expand the, the oil production, and we start pumping out divisions. So let's fortify the borders. Oh, and yeah, we have King Carol too as our leader. He's a hedonist, so minus five stability because fuck you, player. Of course, I want to jump to posh mobilization. Okay, it will be done. If 
Okay. Okay. Let's go for the sport weapons number one. Yay. Okay. Great, 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 great. We finished defense plan number one. Oh man, I really hate technical issues. So you didn't miss much. I just began the second defense project, and uh, yeah, the Spanish Civil War is here. I'm going to put my money on Republic in Spain. It already won like four times. They lately, they lately uh, really you. winning. Oh, stragglers, stuff. Or I go for free trade once I can because I want that construction speed, that research time, and that factory output. Come on, come on, 150. Now I'm going for His uh, Majesty's loyal government because he, uh, and uh, from there militarize uh, the Sentinels. All parties must end. Now why well, I'm going to stick with this guy? It's because well this focus revise the Constitution. He get a Camarilla leader and basically. All uh, political uh, decisions, all uh, you can see it here. Political advice goes minus 25 percent. It'll really help me. And in the end, I'll just uh, bring back his son, put his son as the leader. So I'll need this concentrated industry because. Uh, even though I won't be building that much of uh, factories, I'll need the factory output. Okay, we need steel. If 12 out of 15 factories ready to be used. Now that's incredible. And now we can go for uh, revise the constitution. Then we go for Balkan dominance. Free trade. Okay, we are almost done training the these guys. These guys do. And we grabbed some army experience. That will definitely help us. Okay. Let's keep this for a while. Oh. Maybe the nationalists, uh, the nationalists will end up winning this time. But 86 divisions. I mean, how? How does these guys win? They are only held by the Soviet Union. These guys are held by Germany. Soviet Union is still struggling. The Soviet Union struggles in the early game. They are a powerful army. They have a huge army and uh, can get a lot of factories, but uh, yeah, you see, the, these events are just. Uh, And you just see that they'll go with the Great Birch. That gives them a lot of debuffs. These debuffs will stay until we fight them eventually. Um, and not need this. Let me eat this. I'll grab this. Search time. After this, I'll 
upgrade the... Well, you know what? I put a submarine with them. Uh, my Flota Romania di Mare. Just go on patrol in the Black Sea. No big deal. These guys are done. Yes, they are. Attenzione! Are these guys? Yes, they are. Gata sa trăiți! That's a lot of Soviet divisions on my border. Okay, come on. How's the fence plan going? So in a year it'll be all good. It'll be all good in a year. Do not need convoys, not right now. The Divisia, the infantry, the infantry division is pretty much decent. Constitution. I do need a military theorist at the beginning. Uh, a silent workhouse. I, I do need the political power because with this thing, yeah, uh, getting political power is hard. Okay, so the second defense plan is done for the third one. Okay, okay, okay. Let's continue with the artillery. Interwar alt artillery. Section 9. I'll do also need to upgrade my air force. I'll be relying on that in future battles. And I have revised the constitution now. Let's jump straight for Balkans Dominus. Now we get more manpower, which is always good. Let's see. I do a lot of infantry equipment if we need them. 33, almost 34 units a day. It'll take quite a while. So I'm going to get these are make it level 3 forts so I think I'll get level 4 forts and then uh, um, okay I need uh, this silent workhouse the games are concluded Okay, we need that political power. Oh, mm, Moldova, Moldova. Moldova is actually a very beautiful country. I uh, really love it. It's. Uh, uh, you know, basically all Eastern European countries are beautiful with their uh, communist aesthetic and um, uh, this, uh, yeah, you may, you know, feel a bit uh, gloomy there, but at the same time it's beautiful. I mean, Czechoslovakia is uh, beautiful, Hungary is beautiful, Serbia is good good I do like um, Serbian people they are pretty chill at least the people I talk to but man Moldova I actually lived there for some years when I was a child 
It was fantastic. It was a beautiful country, a beautiful countryside. Um, and um, and I think uh, from Moldova, I had this love for vanilla um, for vanilla ice cream at McDonald's. And unlike the United States, the the ice cream machine here work, works. It works. Moldova is a country I'll try to visit in the future. Uh, I want to ban communism and I don't know. I need. To... Okay, I do not mind these small parties here and there. Okay, come on, come on. 